Welcome back to my channel. It's Keto Granny. Hey, how are y'all doing today, everybody? We made it through the week and we're getting ready to start a new week. What are you going to do different this week that is going to help you to be more successful than you were last week? What is it that you need to change in order to reach your goals and to be more successful? I know that I'm tweaking my diet. One thing that I am going to do, hey guys, guess what? I am going to go carnivore this week. I have never, ever went carnivore for like a long period of time. It's usually something that I add into my weight loss journey um, when I want to have the lowest carb intake for a day or just to keep my carbs low, I will eat more toward ketovore is what I call it than carnivore because I add in a few vegetables. I like vegetables and plus I'm on a medication where if I'm eating vegetables and I have to eat a certain amount every day. However, I do want to go carnivore for one week. So starting today, I'm going to do carnivore for one week and I'm going to share that with you. I'm going to share it with you daily as far as how I feel, how my body feels so that um, I can really get good feedback. I want you to give me good feedback from what I am telling you, what I'm showing you from the foods that I eat and any changes that I can make along the way to make this journey better for me. I see a lot of people who are doing carnivore. They're having some excellent, excellent results. Plus, I have high blood pressure. And I see where they say carnivore really helps that. So I do want to do something different. Um, even though I know carnivore really isn't that much different to me as far as keto, except for I'm not going to be having vegetables. And then there are some other changes that I have to make to be completely carnivore also. Now, I'm going to be following Dr. Ken Berry um, because he gives a lot of good information, him and Nisha, as far as the carnivore diet. And I have been following Dr. Ken Berry ever since I started doing keto. But anyhow, I've been following Dr. Berry for such a long time. And then now everybody's talking about the uh, keto diet. I'm listening to Dr. Uh, Gundry. He's talking about uh, the carnivore diet. Let me take that back. I'm listening to Dr. Gunji right now on TV, and he's talking about the carnivore diet and how plants don't really want for us to eat them. So, you know, I'm also doing my research because before I do anything, I like to make sure that I have all of my ducks in a row, that I really know what I'm doing, what to expect along the way. And as I always say, I am not a doctor. I'm just someone who has lost over 100 pounds doing the ketogenic diet and living the ketogenic lifestyle, low-carb lifestyle. And I share it with you because there are others who have weighed close to 400 pounds and have, they think it's very, very hard to lose weight. That is something that you cannot do. But I'm here to show you that you can. You just have to be consistent. I didn't say you have to be perfect. I said just be consistent. When you fall off, get up and keep going, okay? Just be consistent and you're going to get to those goals. You're going to see success and you're going to have results. So, this week I'm going to start carnivore. I'm really excited about it. The more I talk about it, the more excited I get, knowing that I'm getting ready to do something different and that's going to be really, really challenging for me. I really hope that you join me. If you do carnivore, uh, list it below this video to let me know that you're already doing a carnivore diet. And give me some information, some tips as to how I can be successful um, since I'm going from keto to carnivore. I have watched a lot of the videos. I have been following the carnivore diet for quite some while. But I have never just taken that step or that step over to do it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to step out on faith and I am going to start the carnivore diet. All you carnivore dieters, if you got any tips, please leave them below for Granny because Granny is ready to do the carnivore diet. You can see I've been having some really, really good results on my weight loss journey. However, I do have my apron here. Let me show you. I'm losing really good. However, this 
is maintained. Sometimes it's this size, sometimes it's smaller. I am going to switch over to carnivore. Now, I'm really excited for this. I know I'm not going to be perfect at it. I may not just eat the perfect foods. Cause I'm okay. Anyhow, you ready for this week? I know that I am. I'm ready, I'm excited, and today I'm starting my meal prep. I've already taken some meat down. I'm going to go make sure that I have at least two types of meat in the refrigerator to cook for myself. Maybe three. Because I don't know why I always feel like i got to have this variety of different things to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my meat. And just exactly what is the carnivore diet from what I have learned and what I'm going to do on my carnivore diet. Um, there's one carnivore, he says that it's it's not so bad if you want to take a serving of vegetables a day. But then some people who are carnivore don't believe you should have any vegetables. So basically, that's something that I am going to deal with myself. I'm going to actually start off by not having vegetables. Well, let me take that back. I may have to have one more day of eating because I have like a bag of salad in there that I really don't want to waste. Those type of things, I'm going to go ahead today and prepare, and I'm going to start Monday as far as my total carnivore diet, and I'm going to do it for a week. So I'm going to be sharing everything. If you have any tips that can help me stay on point, please share those with me. But anyhow, I'm excited to do this. And I almost forgot to share one more thing with you. I took out an outfit. This is a... An exercise outfit that I want to be able to wear. So, this is my piece of clothing that I'm going to aim to get in. Okay, don't say, Granny, you'll never do this, but let's see. I bought this when I was losing weight really fast and rapidly. Okay, but these are the tights here. These are size large. These are size large, okay? And this is the top right here that goes with that. I really do like this. The top is an extra large, and I bought it a little bit bigger than the tights for obvious reasons. Um, the tights have a really, really cute design on the leg. Let me see. Let me show you. They have pockets here have side pockets where I can put my cell phone and then on the side of the legs they have this really really cute design that I thought was really really cool that's on the side there so that is my gold outfit and when you see me get in it or you see me pull it up hey it's going to be a celebration honey because I'm going to get there yes I am I am going to get there and you can do the same. Take out an outfit that you have, something that's too small for you. And if you want to, you can try it on now or you can just wait if it's something that you can't get in. And you can try it on at the end of the 30 days. But I would really like for you to join me during Carnivore. And like I said, if you have any tips that can help me, send them to me. Okay, this is Keaton Granny saying, I'll see y'all later. Um, how you start your day. Today, I am having my apple cider vinegar, my lemon juice, and a pinch of Himalayan pink salt. Apple cider vinegar has many, many great benefits. I have several videos talking about apple cider vinegar and the many benefits. Um, I'm going to try to put more up above so that you can read about it. But, hey, you all, have a great Sunday. Get your day started. Give God all the glory. And let's go. That's good.